now let's create the pagination on list so that i'm for that i'm copying the above method and i'm changing the method api to list okay and uh, i'm just modifying the method name i'm removing this code okay and i'm putting null so it don't give the compile time error so we are following three step here to uh, implement pagination on list we are using the first page list folder folder which which use uh, it is basically used for the holding the holding the list and giving you the specific slice using page number okay uh, so in the second step we are using the property comparator okay so here what we do we we compare uh, the uh, we compare the property using specific attribute so for example student we have three attribute name id and city so you can compare it with any attribute and the step number three is we are implementing pagination using the page impl okay so let's implement this okay so uh, to create the page list folder i am using page list holder there i need to pass what kind of list it is okay so it is the student okay is equal to page list holder is equal to new page list holder okay so which which is nothing but the student okay it's outside that's why it is giving the error okay so uh, first uh, this these are the step but first we need a data so we have the repository okay student repository dot find all okay so it will give you the list all list of the students okay so it's a student list so what i'm doing i'm passing next student list into this folder okay so it's so that, that's how you are able to create the page list holder so here we need to set the pagination okay so i'm using page list holder dot set page okay so page should be coming from the page request dto okay so it's a dto dot get page okay so it's a page number after that page list holder dot set page size so again it's coming from the dto dot get page size okay so you are able to set the page so you will get specific slice from the student list now we need to implement the comparator okay we first need to get this slice page slice okay so here i am getting the page list holder okay page list holder dot get page list so what it give it, it give you the page slice okay so i am giving the name of this list as a page slide page s l i c okay after that we need to implement the property comparator right so it it should be property property comparator okay dot sort here we need to pass the first attribute as a list after that we need to pass the sort definition okay so let's pass the paste slice first i am just passing the paste slice new mutual sort definition okay because this is the second attribute we need to pass so here we need to pass the th three attribute first one is the uh, on which attribute you want to sort so first uh, so for example if you want to sort using id or if you want to sort uh, yeah sort using uh, something like name or city so now uh, so we already get that attribute inside the dto so we are using dto dot get sort by column okay so it is nothing but the get sort by column okay after that we have other attribute which is nothing but the true yeah you will know why i'm going to put this true true okay so if i put the is ignore case is equal to true means this true belong to the is ignore case means it, it doesn't follow any uh, case means yeah uh, it is uh, not case sensitive and this is like ascending and descending for that we need to implement the logic so for example uh, if dto so here i am just uh, adding the case okay so for that i am implementing dto dot get sort okay dot equals uh 
equals or we have this is ascending also so is ascending if it is ascending it is nothing but the ascending so if ascending is equal to true then it is true if it is not then it is false so i'm just putting the ascending basically it will return true or false so if it is ascending then it is true if it is not ascending it is false so then it is descending that's how we are implementing this property comparator here after that once you are able to sort this page uh, slice using specific property comparator then we need to implement the page so how we are going to implement page using page impl so i'm using new page impl okay it is nothing but the student page okay so we already have this page slice so i'm putting the page slice comma sorry comma uh, we need to pass the pageable so how we are going to get the pageable uh, so we have new page request dto okay here we have this method get pageable right there we need to pass the dto so this is how we are able to get the pageable and the last attribute there we need to pass the size so we have the student list uh, where uh, we have all the data so we are putting the student list dot size so it will give you the page so it is returning the page impl okay uh, you can rename it as a page also so it is same interface only so i'm just passing the students as a return value and let's test it okay i am just rerunning the program again one more time uh, let's go to the postman it is slash list okay it is same let's check uh, for example it is right now the id our application is up i guess okay it is up i am just hitting it it is giving method not allowed okay uh, so i need to change method to the post uh, let's rerun it and yeah we will get one two three four five six okay sorry five up to five okay so it is sort using id and it is ascending order right and we are able to get the pagination uh, same as the previous example what if i do this as a dsc Yeah, we are able to get the result 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Uh, so if I increase the page size as a 10, and this should be the ASC. Yeah, we are able to get the result till 10. Okay. And yeah, page are internally calculated. Total page is 12. Okay. After that, if I change it to the name. Okay. So yeah, it is sort using A, C, D, J using name only. If I change the page number one zero to one, yeah, you will get the record from the 14, 17, 13, 12, 18, 19. Yeah, it is again sort using name. Uh, let me put it as ID so it is easy to understand. So you will get result from 11, 12, 13 till 19. Okay, okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching.